So evidently Netflix is ramping up their efforts to not only stop users from using VPN, but also going as far as blocking IP addresses that uses VPN access content. Let's go ahead and jump into it guys. Today I will be reading from Torrent Freak. I'll leave a link to the article in the description where you guys can go ahead and check it out. So title of this is Netflix intensifies VPN ban and targets residential IP addresses. And this is an updated article. So this is very interesting guys. Over the past couple months, we've seen locasts go away. We've also seen lawsuits been brought to VPN services that advertise the, the unlocking of geolock. So we've seen movie companies going after those VPN services as well. And I've done a couple videos. I'll go ahead and link those in the description description as well as a comment section. So Netflix has stepped up its effort to ban VPN and proxy users from bypassing geographical restrictions. The streaming service is now blocking residential IP addresses too, since some unblocking tools use these to bypass restrictions. So this is not without collateral damage as many regular internet users with VPN now report missing content on Netflix. So that was a problem guys. They tried this, I believe uh, 2015, uh, where they, they really started taking a look at VPN, making some moves, blocking certain users. But what will always happen is that you have people that use VPN for, you know, just for privacy or whatever the case is, not necessarily the, to circumvent the geo restrictions. The problem is that they, the users, the innocent bystanders are getting blocked from using Netflix. And so they, they kind of loosen up, but look like they're coming into it and starting it over again. Uh, six years ago, Netflix started blocking customers who tried to access its service over a commercial VPN or proxy service. The changes came after copyright holders repeatedly complained. These are the movie companies that trickles down to where they, they went to Netflix and said, hey, you need to do something about it. And Netflix responded by targeting VPNs. So these changes came after copyright holders repeatedly complained that pirates were bypassing Netflix geo restrictions. A VPN ban caused a lot of frustration for legitimate VPN users, many of whom had no intention of breaking any rules. At the same time, the VPN pirates found the workarounds by picking services that actively bypass Netflix restrictions. So just like anything, one company might not work, the other one will, or one method might not work. So there's always gonna be workaround. There are many ways VPN services have managed to circumvent these blocking efforts. Most keep their technical details private as they should. It's commonly known that some are using residential IP addresses as proxy to make it look like VPN users are regular ISP subscribers. So this cat and mouse game has caused quite a bit of frustration on Netflix headquarters. And over the past couple of days, the company appears to have intensified its blocking measures. There's a flurry of complaints on social media from VPN users whose VPN services were suddenly blocked by Netflix. Previously, these people could not play any content while using a VPN. That changed last year. Now VPN users can still see Netflix originals while other content is hidden or blocked. People that try to access the blocked titles through a safe URL will see Netflix dead proxy VPN error instead. So let's take a look at that message. Here's something similar what people have been seeing. Pardon the interruption. You seem to be using an unblocker or a proxy. Please turn off any of these services and try again for more help visit netflix.com slash proxy so that's the error that people are seeing netflix does not explain which ip addresses are blocked and why but the most recent efforts are much broader than before this issue was brought to our attention by WeVPN, which noticed that the geofencing system is blocking its residential IP addresses. The IP addresses were assigned to common consumers ISP such as AT&T, Comcast, Verizon. While it makes sense for Netflix to put it into these workarounds, these appear to be some collateral damage again. The collateral damage is that you have hundreds of thousands of legitimate residential subscribers blocked from accessing Netflix local country full catalog from their home. A WeVPN spokesperson informs us. While we're unable to verify how many people are facing this issue, it is clear that measures are spilling over to regular subscribers. So I'm not gonna read the full article, definitely want you guys to go ahead and check it out, but they do have some, some screenshots. So one particular user here, and I'll go ahead and just blur their, their information out. So they wrote Netflix and said, I'm having issues watching several region lock shows like The Flash over cell phone network, but I can watch them on my Wi-Fi. Your system says I have a VPN or proxy running, which I don't, the latest iOS app didn't fix it. So Netflix responds saying, hey, help us here. 
and they have the siren, whatever. If you do not have a proxy, VPN, or other routing software, but still see this message, contact your internet service provider. They will be able to determine why your IP address is associated with proxy or VPN. So that's just further proof that they are aware of what's going on. They they know that they're doing certain things behind the scene. They kind of cut down on the geolocking and some of the VPN uses on their service. So in the comments, let me know if you've seen any of these messages uh, saying that you're using a proxy or VPN. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this whole cracking down on on not just vpns but like i said in the intro we've seen low cast we've seen other companies coming after vpn companies so looks like the pinch is there pandemic or whatever it's called it uh, these streaming services these movie producers filmmakers coming after vpns as well as uh streaming or rebroadcasting services that they see violating their policies that's it for this video drop your thoughts in the comments hit the thumbs up share this video thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one